My name is Andrea and today I'm making oatmeal crunch bars and I am going to be using this cookbook from Pillsbury, Cookies, Brownies, and Bars. But let me show you what we're making today. So we're going to be making these oatmeal crunch bars and as always, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. Okay, so let me show you the ingredients. You are going to need some quick cooking oats, coconut, salt. Now I'm using half of the salt. It calls for a teaspoon. I'm using half a teaspoon just because we try to watch our sodium. You're also going to need some brown sugar, melted butter, and I am using unsalted, although the recipe didn't specify. You're going to need some chopped pecans and orange marmalade, which is different from jam. Jam uses the whole fruit. Marmalade uses citrus fruit juice and citrus peel. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so the great thing about this recipe is that you just dump everything in the bowl and go. So I've just added my oats and now I'm adding my salt. I am gonna stir this up just a little bit first just to make sure that that salt is distributed throughout. Now I'm adding in my brown sugar and my coconut. Now I know some people do not care for coconut at all. I'm sure you could probably leave it out of this recipe and be just fine. I think white chocolate chips would be really good in place of coconut or in addition to coconut. Be very tasty. Next, I'm adding in my pecans. And if you're a walnut person, I'm sure that would work too. My marmalade and my melted butter. And I'm just gonna give it all a good stir. Okay, so I've got my oats all combined and I have a 15 by 10 inch greased baking pan. And I'm just pouring in my mixture and then I'm going to pat it down firmly. Okay, so I've got everything patted down. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees and the directions say to bake these for 18 to 22 minutes or until they're golden brown and then let them cool completely before cutting them into bars. Okay, so I ended up baking these for 20 minutes and um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna let these cool completely and then I will cut them up and show you how they turn out. Okay, so it's been several hours and I cut them into like granola sized bars. So let me show you what the bottom of one looks like. And this is what they look like. So they're not exactly crunchy, like the title says. They're supposed to be crunchy granola bars. They're not crunchy. And when I think of crunchy, I think of Nature Valley granola bars. Not crunchy like that at all. But they're also not soft like a chewy granola bar. They're not that soft either. They're somewhere in the middle. I mean, when you take a bite, you're not gonna get a crunch to it, but these are still very good. So if you're not a big fan of coconut, you really can't taste the coconut in these bars, but you can definitely taste that orange marmalade because you get the bits of the skin and the citrus flavor. So they're actually really good. I love the pecans in them. Um, but for my husband and I, we both really like them a lot. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I have an entire playlist of quick and easy desserts that I will link in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.